Hello friends, welcome. Now in this video, I'm going to add the flash message. I'm going to display a banner here. So when we create a new skill or a new project, I am in the projects create. And if I just say store now, yeah, we have validation. We don't have validation for skill. And why we don't have that? So let's go inside the projects create.view and oh yeah we need to add the breeze input error so let's copy that and paste it here just change the b skill underscore id hit save and now we have the skill field is required very good let's create a new skill Let's say HTML uh, name is going to be just HTML1. I'm going to add this URL here and I'm going to choose a file. Let's choose the HTML PNG and let's say store. Okay, now let's go to the edit. So when we store a new project, I want to have a banner here to say, for example, uh, the project created successfully. When we edit, the same thing. So let's choose Node.js and say update, the same thing. And when we delete, the same thing. The same thing for the skills. So for that, I'm going to go inside of uh, layouts and in the authenticated layout because we use authenticated layout here i'm going to add so before the nav or here i'm going to add a div with a class to be before i'm going to add the margin bottom of four text is going to be small and I'm going to say text to be blue uh, 700 okay and let's say the BG to be blue 100 and on the dark mode to be BG blue maybe 300 or 400 here okay and on the dark i'm going to change the text also to be text to be blue uh, 800 okay i'm going to give it a role to be alert and now let's display a div here let's say a div with class to be max with 7xl and i'm going to add mx auto here to be in the center and let's display the text here now how we can display the text is you if you go to the inertia if you don't know and we have the shared data and we have flash message here we can add the flash and the message so inside the handle inertia request we can add this flash message so let's copy that and let's go inside the handle inertia request okay here we have the authentic auth also the ziggy and let's add the Flash message. Okay, let's save it. Close this one. And now to display, we first check v if the page props flash message, if we have the message, and we can display the message like this. So let's copy that. And I'm going to add this on this div. So this div is going to display only if the page props flash as a message. 
And now let's display the message. So inside the div here, I want to display that. Let's save and let's see what we have here. All right, now we don't have nothing. Okay. Now if I go and create a new uh, project or skill, so let's go inside the controllers now, in the project controller, when we store in a new project, here we redirect to the project's index, and I'm going to say redirect but with the message. And the message is going to be, for example, project created successfully. Okay. Now, if I save this and let's go and create a new project, let's select HTML, also HTML here, add the or leave it blank the URL, let's choose the image and let's say store and as you can see now we have the project created success successfully okay now the same thing I want when we edit and when we delete that so let's go and let's copy this so on the update I'm going to do the same thing we just change project updated you can say what you want and also when we delete we can say project deleted save now let's go also on the skill controller and do the same now instead of project i'm going to say a skill deleted And let's copy that. When we update, we can say skill updated. And when we store a new one, we can say skill created. Let's save it and let's see now in the action. So edit this. I'm going to add the URL here and click update, project updated. Okay, let's delete this and the project deleted. Let's go to the skills, new skill, just test, choose a file and say store, skill created. Let's go to this test and I'm just going to say something like this. Skill updated and let's delete now. And skill deleted. Okay. I think we are okay with the banner. We can show the message when we create and when we edit and delete. Just let me just see if the validation works here no on the update we don't have validation because if you go inside the resources js pages projects edit we say here form error project but we use inertia not post a form post we use we use inertia so for that we need to say dollar sign page dot probes dot errors dot image okay let's copy that and do the same thing for the project url the same for the name and the same for the we don't have for the skill, so let's copy that and paste it here. 
and change this to be skill ID. Okay, let's save it. And as you can see now, the name field is required. The URL is not required. On the update also, the image is not required. But if we click update, the name field is required. Okay. Also in the skill, if I remove that, click update, nothing happened. So we need to do the same thing on the skills edit when we have the form errors image we need to say dollar sign page dot props dot errors and also on the name dollar sign page dot props dot errors name save and now the name field is required okay friends so that's it about this video now we have everything done for the backend. We have a CRAD for skills and for the projects. Okay, so see you in the next one, friends. All the best.